think um, um, most of the things that most people are in our age group are addicted to. So, I wanna. As no, not me, not me. People in yeah. our age group, not me. It's alcohol. As Nina said, the alcohol, sex, marijuana, there is sex. The sex addiction is actually a bad, bad thing. And there's, there's the porn addiction in relation to that, which so far I think is really destroying. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. And that's one thing I'm really afraid of, especially for my brother. It's like I don't want him to find out what he is. <laughs> because until year nine, I didn't know what it was. Uh, someone just told you me. Found out, how did you handle that information? When I found out what it was, I didn't even know what it was. One of my friends just told me to type something on the internet. So I had to check this thing out and I was like, okay, okay. And then there was something that later on, I was like, hmm, maybe I should, I should just, let me see what happens one more time. And I'm like, no, <laughs> this is wrong. I had to tell my mom, like, I can't, I can't do this. I, so, did you tell your mom? I mean, yeah, kind of. I mean, yeah. Well, even if, even if it's kind of, that's the thing. Many people have the opportunity to actually go to their parents and tell them this is what's up. A lot of parents, you know, some, a few people, no, I'm not, not everyone, but if, a few people actually have it. I've met people that had the chance to actually tell their parents this is what's going on and they got help. But the problem is, especially in a place like Nigeria, your parents here, they start flogging you. That's not the solution. You won't stop doing it. You stop doing it in public. I, I, think, I think the problem is more in the fact that people don't want people are, people are actually happy with their addiction. So people mm. actually Some enjoy people. it. So like I know people that smoke weed. Like I have a lot of friends that smoke weed. And they don't. They, they might know it's wrong, but they don't see it as something that needs to be stopped. Mm -hmm. But I know a lot of people that tell me that as a creative, you need to be on. Yeah, you need to be on. Like, yeah, so that you can be more creative and more, like, more expressive. So, I think the problem is more from the fact that people don't see some of their addictions as problems. They feel like it's normal. They feel like it's how life is supposed to be. So people that, that are, you know, um, stuck in a life of rampant sex feel like um, it's. I don't know, from a guy's perspective, I feel like it makes them more of, like the yeah. man. Like, the more you, the more girls you can speak with, the more you can like do you get. Yeah, when, like, when I think of addiction, addiction leads to a lot of other problems. Uh, it seems like, for me, I'm addicted to watching um, movies, TV series, all those type of things, video games, 2K, FIFA, all those, all those games, you know what I'm talking about. Um, playing all those things in school, especially in university, you, you play and then when you get back after class, yes. and then you go out for hours, you go home, you keep the test coming up. Keep playing, you're playing, you're playing, you're addicted. And all that playing will eventually lead to you procrastinating. Yeah. You're pushing back what you're It actually takes energy. It takes a lot of energy. So when you're done playing, and if you're tired, you probably sleep, or you find something else to do, or after playing, you might go and watch a movie, or watch a show, and it keeps you up late at night. You're tired, your sleeping pattern maybe shifts. Then, there are other things too. Addiction can lead people to, should I say, like no self-esteem. Yeah, yeah, there is that, but there's also like suicide, yeah. murder. How, how do you think those things happen how, step by step? How do you think it gets, that it gets to things like self-esteem? It gets that far with most times.